The learning objectives for TR-26 are to be able to formulate and execute a strategy for solving right triangles. Your strategy should use given values instead of derived values which might contain rounding errors or be miscalculated. Any value derived from them can propagate additional errors. Let's solve this right triangle. We're given the hypotenuse and one acute angle. We need to determine the measure of one angle and two sides. How do we proceed? Each unknown has a simple solution. Pause if you like to figure out the strategy for each. Getting the missing angle is easiest. All of the angles add up to 180 degrees. A shortcut is to realize that for right triangles, the two acute angles are complementary, meaning they add up to 90 degrees. It's the same thing since the right angle adds another 90 degrees. So the missing angle is 49.5 degrees. Wow, okay, the triangle is definitely not the scale. My advice would be to always disregard the scale of any triangle drawn for you. When solving triangles, just treat the diagram as a visual checklist, making sure you fill in all the missing sides and angles. Now to find the missing sides, which we can label A and B temporarily. We need to use trig functions involving the given angle 40.5 degrees and the hypotenuse 87.4 centimeters. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse and the side opposite our angle is A. Sine 40.5 degrees equals A divided by 87.4 centimeters. Sine 40.5 degrees equals 0 0.6494. So A equals 87.4 centimeters times 0 0.6494, which is 56.8 centimeters. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and the side adjacent to the angle is B. Cosine 40.5 degrees equals B divided by 87.4 centimeters. Cosine 40.5 degrees equals 0 0.7604. So B equals 87.4 centimeters times 0.7604, which is 66.5 centimeters. After a right triangle is solved, you can check your work by adding up the angles and verifying the Pythagorean theorem with the sides. Here's a triangle where we're given two sides and the only angle we know is the right angle. So we need to find one side and two angles. To solve this triangle, there are three smaller simple solutions to solve. How to find side C, how to find angle A, and how to find angle B. How would you go about solving each of these? Pause if you like and I'll show the strategies. To find side C, we'd use the Pythagorean theorem. We find angle A with the arctangent function. Opposite over adjacent is 4.00 kilometers over 1.26 kilometers. We also use arctangent to find angle B with opposite and adjacent switching roles arc tan of 1.26 kilometers over 4.00 kilometers. If you want to practice working these out, you can pause and I'll show the answers. Here are three triangles to solve on your own. If you can solve these, then you should have a high level of confidence. These kinds of problems are easy to create and solve on your own. If you have a study group, you can make up problems for each other. Pause and I'll show the answers and that will be the end of this video.